Kilit Burakanat, who's a professor of political science at Penn State University. He's in Fairfax, Virginia. Kilich, great to have you with us. Thank you. I'm wondering what the world thinks of this right now. Well, you know, this is something unprecedented. And uh, when I was a student in Turkey, and then, you know, like the, a lot of people around the world usually watch these kind of attacks to the Congress from the movies. In the movies like Designated Survivor or the movies like uh, Die Hard, we used to see these fictional attacks to the U.S. Congress. And now uh, it is shocking to see that uh, people attack to the Congress and they try to uh, invade the uh, rooms and the halls of the Congress. And it is amazing that the uh, security forces in the United States uh, in Washington failed to protect the Congress. So it is shocking at the same time, it would be extremely detrimental to U.S. image abroad, a U.S. image that uh, intends to present itself as the beacon of democracy around the world. You know, I'm looking at, uh, at there's been a number of updates. Um, not only has the D.C. Mayor, Mayor Muriel Bowser imposed a curfew, but you mentioned such an important point, which is you take the nation's capital. We expect security here to be tight. Uh, and the fact that there was a breach like the one we saw earlier in Congress, oh, what is your reaction to that? Well, uh, there were pictures from Nancy Pelosi's office. And Nancy Pelosi is the speaker of the House and the number three in the US government. So uh, it is understandable to have demonstrations around the Congress. It's, it may even be understandable that there is some uh, people who try to enter the Congress to uh, protest. However, uh, to be able for them to be able to enter Nancy Pelosi's room, use Nancy, Nancy Pelosi's computers, take the pictures of his uh, computer and uh, getting access to her files, this is uh, something unprecedented. And I think after this event, there will be a lot of uh, investigation about the, what led to this. Because, you know, uh, the people who live in Washington, D.C. and who have offices in Washington, D.C. started to get warning about a potential demonstration on June 6th in town a week ago. So uh, there was n this is not a surprise attack or this is not something that is shocking. And everybody knew that today there would be certification of the election results by the Congress. Everybody followed uh, Georgia elections yesterday and everybody listened to President Trump's speeches for the last one and a half month about the election results. So this was some this supposed to be something predictable. And, and uh, you know, like the, it is shocking to see such an, uh, you know, like the uh, unbelievable breach to the Congress. And if you allow, I want to just add one more thing about President Trump here. Uh, it is it's important that uh, we always argue that Trump lost the election, but due to the volume of the votes that he gets and his popularity, everybody was expecting that Trumpism will continue. But they were having difficult uh, time to define and describe what Trumpism is. I think Trump, uh, today's actions and President Trump's uh, delay, basically failure to stop it or condemn it at the earliest uh, point of its uh, the breach, I think would be detrimental about his political career as well, especially in the Republican Party.